Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we are doing Hop Nouveau 2010. It's a 5% alcohol beer from Trafalgar Meads and Ales. It is a wet hopped pale ale. Now, something I found interesting was August 27, 2010, in Stratfordville, Ontario, the hops were packed. Then, on August 27th, in Oakville, Ontario, this beer was brewed, and then a full month later, it was bottled, again in Oakville, Ontario. And it's good until January. That's not very long. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm well aware. Why do they feel it necessary to tell you step by step the beer making process? In case you're curious. I just really like that it was brewed on the same day the hops were packed, but in different cities. Now, I, uh oh, 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 we have an exploding beer. <laughs> Has this ever happened before? No. <laughs> that was like a, a 15 year old kid that got touched for the first time right there. Um, well, Ken, if you can pour those, I will get a napkin. I will uh, endeavor to pour these. Well, uh, clearly it has a massive head. I don't see any smoke. <laughs> and it has a burning smell. <laughs> a burning smell. A very sweet smell. Ugh, Trafalgar. I don't know why I keep buying these beers. <laughs> I'd make disparaging remarks about the French name, but I won't on the internet. <laughs> well, thank you, Ken. Well, I figured after all your videos, it's about time someone poured you a beer. So, it's opaque. It has a head to it. My table smells like shit. It smells like burning. <laughs> it sort of does. <laughs> it's like a cedary, sweet, smoky scent somehow. Grapefruit, too. Yeah, like sour as well. Okay, other than it exploded like a 15-year-old who was touched for the first time, and it's really cloudy, it doesn't look bad. not clearing up either. It's staying cloudy. No, no, I would guess because it's wet hop that it isn't fully filtered. Um, for the first time ever I found a pale ale that's actually kind of pale. <laughs> Give her a try though. Cheers. That's not bad. No. I never thought I'd say that uh, a Trafalgar Ale was not that bad. Really, it's, it's not. It uh, it has a sweet touch at the beginning. It's it sour actually, in the middle. It is sour in the middle. It actually does taste like uh, a pink grapefruit, actually. Is it like a grapefruit beer? No, it doesn't say anything about that. No, it has a guy pruning leaves on the label. It has a, a sprucey feel to it, too. And, like, a glowing white house. Or, or sorry, a glowing lighthouse, not a white house. Hops picked. Brewed. Bottled. I like how it's been bottled, like, a whole month later. Yeah, yeah. So I guess they brewed it for a month. It's it's really a good beer. It isn't horrible. I mean, it has a sour and sweet taste to it. It kind of tastes like a grapefruit. Kind of has a spicy taste to it. It's real soft. It fills your mouth. It's it's very different too. Like not like I don't know. Not different enough to be qualified as a weird beer. I'll, I'll tell you this: if you've never had Trafalgar beers, every one of their beers is different, either for better or for worse. I've never had one of their beer beers before. Boychuk had a cherry ale with us. 
cherry, was it? It wasn't cherry. <laughs> we also had a smoked oatmeal stout, which is pretty good. You could smoke oatmeal? Apparently. <laughs> but, this beer, I actually enjoy. I would give it probably a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, I might buy it again. I probably wouldn't. But if somebody put it in front of me, I'd drink it. Uh, the sour taste turns me off a bit, but it's not really sour. It's just interesting. I'd give it a... I'd give it a 7. You'd give it a 7? Yeah, I would. I'd give it a 7. Meaning I'd drink it again. Uh, I wouldn't go and buy it. Well, there you go. Hop Nouveau. Oh, it is unfiltered. I didn't even read that. That's what happens when you don't read the bottle well enough. Hop Nouveau. Unfiltered wet hop pale ale. 6.5 from me, 7 from Kenny here. And she's not bad. Give her a try if you want. Uh, I would say you probably have to rush out and buy it since it's only good till January. And it was bottled in September, so who knows if you're still going to find it. Good beer drinking to you. Thanks for watching.